Okay, we're just going to look at uh, using the calling feature in the Kirison S780 radios. And uh, first of all, we need to look at how you actually determine who you're going to call by going to the menu and selecting contacts, which of course only works on uh, digital mode. You can then pick the name of the person that you wish to call, and you'll see here that there are single individual symbols of a person, and there are those with two symbols and those with three. These represent calls to individual people, calls to a group, or calls to all people. Now let's just say that you normally want to call up uh, Howard. You'd select him here, go into the options, and set him as the default. Okay, from there on, any time you just press the PTT, it will automatically attempt to call Howard. So you can change that quite easily, but let's demonstrate how this works. So here we have a second radio, and we're going to put a call through to it and just see how it responds. So by pressing the PTT, we see that in this case we made a call. The second radio indicated uh, that it had received something, but in actual fact no call occurred. And that's because the second radio is not the one owned by Howard. So let's now change the menu option here and we'll go to another contact. And this time we'll select Bajorn as our default. Okay. Now, if we make a call from the first radio, we'll see that the second radio responds. And it says, Howard's calling. And the first radio shows Jordan's making the call. And you can see there that there's the symbol for a single call. And you can see the arrow indicates the direction of the call. Now, when Howard releases his PTT, Bajorn has four seconds to reply. If he replies, he'll automatically reconnect to Howard. You can see by the arrows there that that call's completed. If the four seconds elapses, and that's settable in the uh, menu for the in the sorry in the programming of the radio, um, but John would have to actually select Howard from the contacts to call him back. So that's making a simple call from one to another. Let's just say now we wish to make a call to several people in a group. We can go down to our contacts list and select the small group and if we press the PTT now it will send the call out to everybody in the small group and you can see here that uh, on the right hand side it says I'm receiving a call for the small group that's coming from Howard and on the left hand side we can see the arrow indicates we're making a call to the small group it's as simple as that <coughs> let's now decide we want to make a call to all people. So we'll select them from the contacts, press the PTT, and you'll see, similarly, we've got an indication on the right hand side there that it's to all, and it's from Howard. And that makes it pretty clear what's happening. Again, we've got the four seconds to reply. Oops, a daisy. So we press the PTT to reply, and it replies to all, because that's what was selected. So that makes it fairly easy. But what happens when we're actually making these calls? Let's turn on a, uh, a scanner monitor and listen to some of the RF that's coming from the uh, radio. So in the first radio, let's go and select Howard again because we know that the radio on the right is not Howard. So now we press the PTT to make the call and you'll see the red light went on and the the occasional burst from the monitor and we get an indication that the second ray is receiving something and now we see no answer is shown on the calling radio so what actually happens is the calling radio puts out a burst of data and it's looking for a response from the radio it's trying to call if it doesn't get that response it gives up the call if it does the call proceeds so even though the red light for transmit is on all the time, it's actually only sending a burst now and then while that's actually happening. Let's look at another interesting thing here. We'll move out of the simplex area. Let's go now to a channel that's encrypted. Now, of course, we don't normally use this because it's, it's not lawful under our license, but just for purely demonstration purpose, we'll show what happens. 
we've set the default for a calling already on this one but I should point out that the default for your calls is based upon the channel so if I'd selected a uh, if I'd selected a uh, person to call on channel 2 say and select a different default person on channel 1 then when I select the channel we'll go back to that ok we're in a secure mode so we're in a encrypted mode I press the PTT and you'll see that in addition to the information that we had before both of these now have a little key symbol indicating it's a, uh, an encrypted transmission and in every other respect uh, the calling of another radio is the same if on the other hand we decide that we want to call a uh, person other than Pajorn in this case we'll go down and we'll say let's select Howard again and we'll make him the default make it a little bit easier and he's saved now when we make the call on this channel we'll see that as before nothing occurs on the other radio it just indicates that there's a call going through by flashing the red light but uh, it doesn't receive anything now let's also listen to a secure communication so the radio on the right is in clear the radio on the left is in secure mode we'll press the PTT oh well we'll actually also select for John as our contact so we press our PTT we now make a call it shows on the right it's receiving one from Howard but it's not getting anything and that's because it's encrypted so there's no information coming through let's put the second radio onto the analog mode and you can actually hear the encrypted call my apologies you can't we'll have to turn on the scanner to hear it and you'll hear it's quite interesting uh, how it sounds ok we've got the the uh, scanner on so let's listen to the encrypted call being made now you see there it was attempting to establish contact and it couldn't do so we'll move over to the encrypted mode we'll make the call and you'll hear the difference and that's basically uh, the calling system now the other thing you need to be aware of <coughs> excuse me, is that when you're programming the radio the identity of the radio is linked to one of the contacts it doesn't have to be but normally would be so when you set up your uh, software you'll actually give the radio an ID and if that radio ID is the same as a contact then uh, he will be basically the owner of that radio you could use an ID that's not for any contact but then I'm not sure how you would call that radio so radios are in fact locked to individuals and the calling system means that those that aren't being called will not hear the transmission there's no mode on these radios to be able to monitor all transmissions you can only monitor the transmission that's directed to you to your group or to everybody well that's about it and uh, we'll look at doing some other videos and other features later thank you